Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to show you a couple of ways that you can report on conversion rates in Pipedrive so that you can understand what is working and what's not working in terms of uh, what's driving revenue for your business and how you can potentially improve your sales process. Now, if you do have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like more help with Pipedrive setting up your account, optimizing your sales process, automating your processes and training your team on best practices, then have a look in the description below and click the link to learn more about my pipe drive consulting options. So let's get into this video and I'm gonna start, I'm in the insights tab here and I've just, just created a new conversion reports dashboard. I'm on the pipe drive professional plan so I can create multiple dashboards like this. And to start conversion report, I'm gonna click the plus button I'm going to add a new report. I'm going to come down to deal conversion, uh, click continue. And so the basic report that it gives us uh, just by using that quick uh, little wizard is it's going to show me my conversion rate in this uh, sales funnel. So I can see all of the stages of my pipeline. And this is for a particular pipeline here. So if I change this to a different pipeline, it's going to give me different metrics. So I can see all my stages and I'm looking here at the number of deals, but I could change this to show deal value if, if I want as well. Uh, and so I can understand where am I losing people in my sales process? Maybe there's a stage here where there's a significant drop off and uh, maybe there's something I can do to improve my conversion rate at that stage of my funnel. If I want to, I can, I can exclude certain uh, stages if I need to. Maybe actually that holding stage isn't really relevant. I'm gonna get rid of that so I can discard that stage. Uh, and I can also change the time frame up here. So I'm looking at this year. I could look at last year if I wanted to, but I'm pretty happy with this. So once I've got this uh, looking the way I like, I'm gonna click save up here. I'm just gonna call this funnel conversion. And I'm gonna add this to my uh, let's add it to my conversion reports dashboard and click save. So there we go, I've got that funnel conversion report on my dashboard now. Let's do another one. Let's start again, let's do a new report, deal, conversion. So just like I did before, but this time I'm gonna change this option up here to show my overall win slash loss percentage. So very similar style of report. I'm just looking at the number of deals and the overall win slash loss rate, uh, but this is not breaking it down by stage in this report, this is just my overall conversion rate. So really great way of just understanding of all of the deals that I create, how many of them get marked as won or lost. So I'm gonna save this and I'm just gonna call this overall conversion rate. And I'm gonna put that into my conversion reports and save. So there we go, I've got those two side by side. Maybe I'll actually put that one first, this one second, so I can see my overall conversion rate and then I can see my conversion rate based on stage. Now, if you're really observant, you might notice actually that the win rate here, 59%, is different to this one here, 54%. The reason being is that this conversion uh, report is for all of my deals. Whereas if I go back to my dashboard, this conversion funnel is filtered to a particular pipeline. So it's a slightly different set of data. Uh, if I want to, I could maybe have another conversion funnel for other pipelines that I've got. But if you're watching this video and you're wondering why those numbers are different, uh, why those numbers are different, it's because the one on the right is uh, for one particular sales funnel. Okay, let's do another conversion report. I'm gonna do the same thing. Report, deal, conversion. And I'm gonna go to the win slash loss. And a couple more options we have on here is at the moment, I'm just reporting on um, the conversion rate by deal owner. Now, I'm the only user in the account, so Paul Miners is the only option down here, but if I had you know, three or four salespeople, I could see each of their conversion rates separately, so I can see who on my team is uh, converting more or less than others. Now, being on the Pipe Drive professional plan, there's a couple of other um, metrics that I can report on. And so I've got these custom fields on my deal. I've got deal source and revenue model that I could report on. So if I click on deal source, this is a drop down menu, a multi option drop down menu that I've created. And so now I can actually work out what marketing channels are converting higher or lower than others. 
So I can see, you know, YouTube compared to Google, compared to referrals, compared to my email list. I can see what channels are working well and what's not. So this is a really good report because now I can I can focus on those marketing channels that are uh, more delivering delivering better results. So let's go and save this and let's call this conversion rate by source. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my dashboard as well. And let's put that down there. And I'm going to do one more. Let's go report deal conversion. And this time I'm going to report on um, revenue model. So again, this is a different custom field that I have. I have different types of service that I offer. I do, I do projects. I do different uh, packaged services. I've got retainers, hourly engagements. And so I can see what types of service convert higher or lower than others. And if you have custom fields for things like maybe what region you're selling into or industries that you sell to, if you have custom fields for those type of dimensions, if you set them up as custom fields and you're on the pipe drive professional plan, then you can add that as a dimension to your report and actually um, see how the conversion rate changes for different you know, industries, for example. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's call that conversion rate by deal type. And I'll add that to my conversion reports. There we go. Now, one final uh, report that I'd actually like to show you in this video as well, and this is actually a fairly new feature to Pipedrive at the time of recording this video, is that we can now report on lead conversion rates. So if you've got this lead inbox here, where you've got leads from your website or different marketing channels arriving in your Pipedrive account, and uh, typically we use this lead inbox to qualify our leads, uh, and then once we've made contact and we've qualified them, we convert them into deals. So it's a simple way that we can keep our leads separate from the qualified sales opportunities that we are talking to. And now with our reporting, we can create a lead conversion report. And so we can actually see of the leads that we get, what percentage of them convert into deals. So it's a different kind of conversion. It's obviously not a sales conversion, but it is, it is reporting on leads converting into deals, which is an important part of many people's sales process. So here I can see we're looking at leads created this year. Again, I can look at the number or value of those leads. And uh, I can see this is just showing me my lead to deal conversion rate. Uh, and so it's showing 100%, which is great. Uh, I mean, this is just a demo account, so there's not a lot of data here. But you get the idea. This helps me to understand of the leads that we get, how many of them are sort of being qualified and converting into actual sales opportunities. So that's one more type of report that uh, could be very useful. And so once you've got all your reports created, like I've done here, I've just put them on a separate dashboard for now. Um, there's a lot of really useful data here, which helps me to understand, like I said, my overall conversion rate. So for all the deals that I create, how many of them convert into actual business? How many do we win? I can break that down into a funnel for different pipelines and I can see at what stages in my sales process are we losing people? Maybe there's something I can do to optimize that. If you, can, if you do a report and uh, segment it based on any custom fields that you have, you can do reporting like this to see conversion rates based on, for example, deal type or even by source. I think that one, this last one here is really useful because it helps me to understand what, what marketing channels are working well. So a couple of ways that we can report on conversion there besides the just regular overall conversion rate. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.